Mheshimiwa Sahii kutoa shukrani sana kwa ndugu yangu Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye amekuja akanitoa kwa kitanda akaniambia nitoke vile hii mnajua kwa wiki tatu sasa nimekuwa mimi waugua ugonjwa wa corona anikaa nyumbani kwa wiki mbili wiki moja nilikuwa hapo na Robi Hostel lakini sasa mara mbili mfululizo madaktari wamekuja wakanipima na zote zikatoka at covid negative na tuko na furaha tukiwa pamoja naye tukijua ya kwamba sasa tunarudi kazini pamoja vile tulikuwa ya kuunganisha wa Kenya ya kuendelea na maendeleo ya taifa na hiyo ni furaha yetu sisi wote kwa hivyo hongera kwa tunaona bado nguvu iko mingi Mungu ni mwema na tunamshukuru Indeed, it's good to see the former Prime Minister back. And um, he spent an afternoon, or actually a day, from morning to um, towards the end of the day with the President, um, reviewing or inspecting different projects in Nairobi, the Nairobi Metropolitan Service, the bus park, um, where Luna Park was. And then he went to open the ICD, the road that leads to ICD. It's called Road A, some four point something kilometers of road and after that he went all the way to Kajado uh, to inspect the road that connects all the way to Isinya, Ngong, Ongata, Rungai and um, that was the other day. And uh, Honorable Senator uh, Linturi, when you look at this, we had received a statement indicating that um, uh, Raila Odinga uh, would be on the ballot but a few days, actually the following day we were told that it was an April Fool's prank but also this meeting happened at, happened at a time there was that speculation of disquiet in the BBI. You're the politician here. What has been going on in the corridors of politics and what is the truth? What was the significance of that day of the president and Raila Odinga together? Yeah, I think uh, my view is that, uh, you know, Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta, uh, the, 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 the brains behind the BBI Mm -hmm. I've actually argued in many cases that uh, the BMBI is not really a popular initiative as is supposed to or is being sold out to be because these are the people that uh, and a meeting that came up with all these ideas and uh, up to the level whereby uh, people were mobilized to sign into that proposal to amend the constitution. But if you are to ask anyone, Jiko or anybody else, uh, what uh, the intentions were, mm -hmm. then I, I'm sure very few people even know what is contained there. And uh, for that matter, uh, it is a do or die for them. Being behind must be passed, being behind must be taken through the throats of Kenyans. And nobody uh, at a personal level has seen problems with the with their proposals or what, what they want to do. But you see, uh, uh, politics being a very dynamic, uh, very being very dynamic, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, our position has been what, or the question has been what our priorities are, and especially at this particular time. And that's only the area where we differ, because if the, the interests or the priorities of this country is about BBI, then we must be in ensuring or making sure as a country or the leaders that are pushing it have some way of uh, of um, feelings uh, towards the sufferings that Kenyans are having in this country. And if, if, if you can... If you, if you the two leaders don't have those feelings? I'm trying to explain, yes, because you can't tell me, like, for example, if the, the proposed estimates for the for passage of BBI is 14-something billion, right? So in these estimates, we are relying on donor support to get vaccines. Mm -hmm. How much money have we put in as a country, as resource, national government resource, to acquire the, the vaccines or to earn up to what we are getting from the donors? That's what I'm talking about feelings. Mm -hmm. What are we doing 
because we are telling people stay at home, put on masks. Are you aware in the villages, people, there are people who cannot afford Vestenbop to buy a mask? How many masks are being distributed by government in our counties? That is what I mean by asking, saying whether they have feelings. But despite all that, the level of exposure to COVID and to uh, the Wanainchi compared to BMBI, if I want, there was the one making decisions I would have sent, let me deal with the error of these Kenyans first. Mm -hmm. I would have sent, let me put in money to assist these Kenyans who have lying in ICUs and other hospitals being held for failure to pay bills. Right? Let me put in money and, uh, and really try to mitigate mm -hmm. the effects of uh, the of the COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, the Senator Linturi, I, I asked you, a, I asked you, I asked you so, a different question, but all the same. But now, let uh, me explain. So, when these guys uh, came out together, to, came out, so, uh, sorry, uh, last week, mm -hmm. and I think it is true, uh, many people, and when you hear Bandi or anybody else talking, you know there are people that are perceived to be talking for other people. Uh, I think there's nothing further from the truth because I think in the whole arrangement, in the own BBI arrangement, from what I hear the ONDM members of parliament saying, because we interact with them, it's like they are saying they've been cheated. But two, I can tell you, today, here, and now, I only, uh, I can almost with a lot of certainty say that Raila must be on the ballot in 2022. There is no other candidate, right, who is as strong, who is as forceful from the opposition side other than Raila. So, so, who, so when, when your friends say that um, they have been cheated in the BBI process, mm -hmm. where is the lie? Who, who has cheated them and how? But you see, why these things come our rise is because, remember, those issues that uh, are contained in the BBI, and uh, even remember, when we won't go through the motions, the meetings that used to be there, and especially the one um, that I remember of mm -hmm. at uh, KICC, Ray Londinga was trying to explain what is in the BMBI, uh, thinking that that, uh, 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 what he was saying was in the BBI. You find him going somewhere else and telling people we are going to give you constituencies, and when they are not even there. So there is a lot of confusion in the okay. whole BBI thing to the extent that we do not know exactly what it is. And there has been many, many versions of the BBI. I am lucky that uh, the county assembly of Meru sent me the version mm -hmm. that was sent to them, and which I am looking at, because many people do not know which BBI uh, Kenyans were considering or which they signed to. Mm -hmm. And that is why I am sure, even right now, we do not exactly no, because we are supposed to be at, at the level of public participation in the National Assembly and, uh, uh, but, yeah, but, but and Senator, the Senate. But Senator, the bill has been uh, brought to Parliament. You've not been able to see it. I'm saying it's at the level of public participation. Have you been able to see it? I have the bill. I'm oh. telling you it was sent okay. to me by okay. the Speaker. Oh, oh, so oh. the main question now, why uh -huh. there is that, in this, uh, uh, that kind of uh, cold feeling across the political divide is because we are also asking ourselves as Parliament, can Parliament not make any proposals on that particular bill? Can Parliament be used like, just like a conveyor and brought to a conduit? What does it mean when people give us power to make a law or to legislate on their behalf? Would you wish to open it? Let me tell you, given that opportunity, we would have done it. Okay. And because we feel we can even make it better. So that is where the problem arose. And that is how it has not been sorted up. All to right, no let, let, me, let me take it to Dunstan Omari. Uh, Omari, when you sat wherever you were or stood wherever you were and watched the two leaders, I don't understand that uh, Dunstan Omari is not there, but Honabu Mwaka Maore, so there's that speculation that um, the reason why that meeting between the president and Raila Odinga was happening is uh, to calm the storm that was brewing against BBI and the hostilities that are starting to form. Is there any truth in that? No. Uh, having been in the floor of the House when the bill came to, when the, when the report came from the committee, or the Joint Committee of the Senate and Parliament, I can assure you there was uh, quite a problem. Or a, you can actually declare it a crisis. And it was necessary to have a meeting between the President and the former Prime Minister 
so that between the two of them, those issues could be resolved. Mm -hmm. And I can report to you that actually they have been resolved. So that is the reason why I want to put it that the EBI reggae is on course. It has not been paused. And uh, the time when we resume, most uh, possibly next week or the other week, through a special sitting, uh, sitting in Parliament, mm -hmm. we will be able to, to finish with it, the way the county assemblies did. And it, it will now be upon now the IEDC to handle the matter. The only almost unfortunate thing on earth, it came from the chairman of IEDC. In a solo press conference, mm -hmm. he brought he cast doubts about the presence of the schedule that is talking about the constituencies in the bill. And I am calling it unfortunate because if he has ever done principle or philosophy or theory of law, mm -hmm. He will know that the issue of a referendum, the referendum is about power of the people. Mm -hmm. They can disband the parliament, they can disband the office of the president, they can disband that office of IEBC or any, or actually they can delete any clause and put in a fresh issue. Mm -hmm. So if you go into the referendum with a schedule saying where the constituencies will be, it is showing how myopic and dangerous the kind of mind of a man like Chepkati, if you give him an opportunity to allocate those uh, constituencies, he will do exactly like what the legal did. He went to Igembe. There are two issues that I want to follow up with you, Honorable Maori, before you yes. conclude on that point. You said that there was a crisis at the floor of the House and it was necessary for the two leaders to meet. Maybe you could expound. No, no, no. Cris actually, no about it, it was obvious. They, they were, no. No, I, I wanted to finish that sentence, then I'll go back to you. No, 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 <laughs> I still get back I, I, to you. I, I, I was just saying about a referendum. In simple terms, a referendum is power to the people. They can uh, delete anything. They can uh, do anything. And that one is somebody <laughs> like a lesson to <clears throat> Chabukati. Now, very quickly, what I was saying that the crisis that was happening is that the ODM team that mm -hmm. was in those committees and in the floor of the house, they were hostile to the BBI. And it has something to do with the political uh, issues that were happening on the side. And they have been resolved now. What issues? Well, the issues that were there, they were, there were issues out there. I don't know which one, but they were. Oh, they were you know, Honorable Mora, you know. <laughs> I mean, you cannot tell me that they have been resolved and you don't know what they are. What are they? Or you just don't no, know no, what no, to no. say. But you know, it, 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 you know, it, it, it is a, a topic for another day. I can assure you, it, it will come out another day. Is it that but you don't, you don't have serious issues? Is it Pardon? that you don't want to say? Well, yeah, because what, what happened, like they, they, they have issues which they knew they do, if they touch them, they will cause a crisis in the BBI, and that's exactly what was happening. I just wish you could tell us because Kenyans are watching, they want to understand. No, next time. No, I'm okay. next time. Okay, all right. The, 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 the next issue, just before I get you on this, Omari, the next issue you said that uh, Chabukati needs to know that uh, the power of a referendum is in the people. They can change whatever they want to change. But the same constitution says that the responsibility of delimitation of boundaries is to be done by IEBC. Why would you surpass that and take 28 counties to host 70 more constituencies <coughs> without allowing IABC to do the job of determining which county requires an extra constituency? Honorable Maori, that's your question. Oh, it was, my, it was my question. Yes. It is actually a schedule. It is a schedule in the bill. And um, I was actually about to give you an example. I come from, you know, and in 2010, attempted by one Andrew Ligane, the commission, uh, mm -hmm. heading the Borderlands Commission, he, what he did was he, he uh, combined a Gempe constituency and the Tonyeri constituency, and he created another constituency by cutting two words each. Now, if you go to a Gempe today, the population in, in the, the three Gempes is 550. If you go to Viga, where Ligane comes from, the population is, is 570. But if you go to Viga, they have five members of parliament when the Egembe is having three. 
So it is that kind of madness we are trying to correct by stating where those constituencies that are going to benefit. Because if you give those uh, constituencies, so if you give an IEBC, they will always bring those other stories that they want to distribute them, like you are dripping, uh, dripping cups of milk. But, 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 but Honorable Maori, if we are to be a, a country that is led by a constitution, we wrote that constitution ourselves. Yes. We enacted it. And we gave the powers to do no. the delimitation to no, IEBC. No, 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 no. I, actually, that is what I was saying. If you have the, if you have taken it to the referendum, you are even above that constitution because How? you have taken it to the people. But that referendum must be conducted in, uh, I mean, subject to the constitution. Now, the subject of the constitution is wh whatever you are taking to a referendum, if it is approved, it is superior to what is appearing in the constitution. That's exactly if what approved, I mean. but as, at, the, at the moment it's not approved. Dustin Omari, what are your thoughts about this? What needs to happen? Because there are all these questions about IBC saying it's its work to do the delimitation. On this other side, the politician saying that uh, it, is a, it is our time to right the wrongs that are committed in yes. the earlier regimes. If, uh, if Mwishimiwa Maore ever bothered to consult senior lawyers like us, we could have told them that that bill is just a paper. It will only have the efficacy of the law once it has been passed and enacted and promulgated. For now, to to the agreement. I totally agree with that. The proposals must comply with the Constitution of Kenya 2010. Anything that is an illegality and unconstitutional will face the full force of the courts. Some, there are four, there are four things that are going to determine the BBI rule. One, COVID. COVID is a constant. It will eliminate very many politicians the way it is eliminating very many citizens who are gasping for breath mm -hmm. at ICU beds. What will be the effect of COVID in the numbers of politicians who are going to be eliminated? What will be the effect of COVID whether parliament is going to open or not? What is going to be the effect of COVID in the economy to raise the income to, to sustain a referendum. So COVID is the only constant that is the part among the equal. Number two, sir, mm -hmm. the court. We await in the judgment of the High Court. All the nine cases were consolidated. We have another case in Kakamega that has not been part. Mm -hmm. The decisions of the court, whichever side they will face, will go to the court of appeal and will go to the Supreme Court. Are we likely to see the legal processes end this year, the legal processes which COVID and the courts having in close legal processes will move slowly until the end of the year. <coughs> the final decision on the way forward on, on, on the referendum. Mm -hmm. Third, we have the political chase game President Uhuru Kenyatta abandoned his deputy, took his brother, a brother who had financially drained himself from the elections of 2013, 2017, and therefore he needed money, a war chest for 2022. So now, will ODM walk out of the handshake? They will not. They need more money for the campaign. And that is why when the president went, whatever he went carrying to Baba's home, Baba woke up from hospital. Remember, the president is not a doctor. It is the Baba saying, President Ali Kuja and the mm -hmm. we, saw him, we saw him inspecting the roads. The pipe, the financial pipe, Kibicho tried to curtail, is the reason why BPI. ODM for four people. And that is why Honorable Maura is avoiding your question. What was it that caused the problem? What caused the problem with ODM members on the floor of the house is the money that they have been used. Dancer Omari, 
Dunstan Omari, you make two allegations there. The first one is on yes. Raila Odinga went to be with the president to build a war chest, a financial war chest. Please yes, clarify that what that a means. Statement. And secondly, you said that PS Kibicho had been financing. I don't know what exactly you're talking about. Do you have the evidence and the figures? How let, much? How much was it? Let me, let me put these things. I think part. it is abusing the medium of TV for, to, to just issue statements. Hon that, Maure, uh, the regulatory let, of Raila, and, for, and he let, is not there to defend Hon himself. Hon Honorable Maure, let, I, let, let Wakili. I'm a lawyer, and I lay the basis for my argument. One, the DP is not anywhere near Harambe House. The BBI secretariat was removed from the secretariat and taken to Harambe House. When was that? How, how true is that? What evidence do you have to, to say that, Dustin Omari? Judith is on record on the citizen team saying that the BBI secretariat had been removed. Senior counsel Orengo and senior counsel, uh, senior counsel, uh, uh, the former ombudsman, were very categorical no. that if, this, if the state mandarin, the bureaucrats, are not contained. No. Can, can I explain about this thing, about the BBI, the secretariat thing, before he misleads further? Honorable Maore, I'm on my floor. No, I need to, I need to, I need to respond about Honorable BBS Maure, because I know where it is. J yeah. Just a moment, Honorable Maore, um, let Omari make this clarification. Omari, because you're running out of time, I want you to be very specific. Because when you say that the secretariat was moved and you attribute your source of information to politicians, I have a problem with that. I would want you to give that hard evidence that you have indicating the truth of what you're alleging. No, since he doesn't Sam. have the truth, can I clarify? Sam. The BBI is an agreement between two brothers. None of the evidence anybody has, other than the epitaphs that come from, from the politicians. For example, Maore is talking on behalf of the state. When he talks as the deputy, whatever he says, we hold them to account. The politicians, Junet, Orengo, are not simple politicians that whatever they say is going to be taken easily. And we saw the repercussions in Parliament. We saw President Uhuru Kenyatta going to Raila's home. We saw Raila Dinga wake up from the bed and come to inspect the roads. We saw the romance that is being propagated. Honorable Maori, if you want to dissolve your sector, disown it. You have said there were serious problems. The ODM wing of legislators. Oh, um, Omar, 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 the last no, question. No. Just, a, just a moment, Honorable Omar. Omar, there's that point you said that uh, Raila Odinga was broke after the 2017 election and needed a war chest. How do you support that claim? After Justice Moraga nullified the election, the rerun that came, Raila Odinga did not run. The reason for financial. Two, immediately no. he, he said he said he did not believe in the credibility of the commission then, IBC. A petition. The reality is, could he fund? We have seen a revamped ODM. We have seen ODM getting money from the political parties section. NASA has been after the handshake with the billion. Now, now, can I clarify about the secretariat? Let me finish. Let me finish. Just one minute, Honorable Maure. The likes of Musali are crying that the money that has been released to NASA, to NASA has been utilized by ODM. Mm -hmm. We have seen the parts of retired prime minister and retired vice presidents go to parliament for review of what? That is the financial logistics that we are saying. They are complaining about mandarins at, at the Ministry of Interior. And we know it's public knowledge that funds for BBI have always been channeled from the Ministry of Interior. Because the Auditor General okay. cannot audit money for any size. Any size. 
Well, Dastan Marie, I don't know whether that's satisfactory explanation of the allegations that you raised, but um, uh, we, we need to end this because we're out of time. And uh, Senator Linturi, maybe you can have uh, 30 seconds and then Honorable Mori can uh, close with 30 seconds. Yeah, I'll just say and concur <coughs> with uh, Omari that indeed BBI is, uh, is a product of two people and, uh, and uh, whatever the, they wanted uh, to achieve in it is best known to them. And since they want Kenyans to participate in it, I mm -hmm. think they make enough copies must be given to Kenyans. People need to read them. And okay. secondly, to the government, our priority right now is not the BBI, deal with the pandemic. Okay. See what measures you bring in to cushion the public, the Kenyan people, from the effects of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And Honorable Maori, of course, uh, there's a lot of suspicion if uh, what Dusto Maori is raising there is anything to go by. So how do you deal with this confidence crisis sort of, of, of sorts at a time no, no, that COVID-19 is such a problem? Very quickly is to state that the collection of signatures ended in December. Then we went to the county assemblies. Then we are now in parliament. Between December and today, any normal Kenyan will know there is no need or use for a secretariat. To do what? The secretariat will be, need, will be needed after the IEBC has already released the document that is supposed the, the question, the referendum question. That's when you will need the, the, the secretariat. So this ranting about the secretariat and uh, from anybody, it is they don't know what's the work of a secretariat. It has not been closed. The, the furniture that were there, they were there even in 2017 in the same office. So I don't know when people say that it has been closed and Akuna Mali Menda. They are just looking for how to mention the, 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 the name Kibichu. It, is, um, it has been a nightmare for them. But, but are, they and, still, uh, are, are they still getting the, the financing or the funding that uh, they were getting? Financing to do what? That's exactly what, what I'm telling you. There is no need for even spending 100 shillings between December and today by the secretariat. Because there is no work for that secretariat. There is no job. I would imagine that when so you run a secretariat, to... just a moment, I would imagine that yes. when you run a secretariat, you have an office, you have people that man the office, they will require to be financed, whether it's salaries or whatever allowances. Yes, I agree with you, but you finance them to do what? There is no job. The job will begin immediately after the IEBC has published a referendum question. That's now when we are going to need a referendum to coordinate the referendum. For so, now, between December and today... So, so the, is it your position the, that at the moment the, there's no the, BBI secretariat the, operational? The secretariat is, the building is there. The office is there. But you don't need the staff that you, you were having during the time when we were collecting signatures, for example. After collecting signatures and launching them to go to the counties, if you have a secretariat in, in Nairobi, what will they do? Okay. The counties were doing their job. All right, Honorable Mwakamore. Um, that's your yes. take on that. And um, that's our yes, time yes. here. Or this conversation, I wish Ruben Kigame was still with us. We would have given us this take. He comes from the Linda Katiba Initiative. Uh, but thank you all. Senator Linturi from Meru County, Honorable Maori, Deputy Majority Whip at the National Assembly, Dustin Omari, Advocate of the High Court. And earlier on, we had uh, the convener of um, Linda Katiba, Ruben Kigame, joining the conversation. That's our time here. But up next is uh, Willis Raburu and his team talking about matters social. So stay tuned. You can continue to tweet the show. At Citizen TV Kenya, at Willis Raburu, the hashtag to use is the break the back in a moment.